Today we will be reviewing some GFRC glass fiber reinforced concrete connection details and the pictures that are related to those details. So first thing we're going to look at here is sheet number one uh, where you're going to see an elevation of some modular columns where you've got a, a base, some shafts, a capital, you've got an entablature with some uh, letters recessed into them that says delta gamma and a GFRC cornice on the top. The first picture we're going to look at is the, the bottom photograph is the, the installation in progress uh, uh, of that uh, detail we just looked at and the top, very top photograph basically is, is showing it uh, complete. So this detail again, or this picture, I'm sorry, is that the bottom picture shows again the completed installation and then if you look at the top detail or de picture, that is the, you know, the installation in progress again. Here you can see the GFRC profile, and that it's just it's just a shell. It's a skin. Uh, it's about three quarters of an inch thick, and you can see that 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 it is not four or five inches thick as it would be if it was tr more traditional precast or, or cast stone material. There is a frame cast into the back of this skin, and it's shop fabricated and shop installed. So so the panel comes out with the GFRC skin and the frame attached. You're also going to see here that this is just a high reach forklift with a boom attachment. Uh, not real heavy duty equipment because the weight of the material is so much lighter than, than, than solid, thick, three, four inch uh, concrete again. Let's go to sheet two. Here we're going to see the profile of the GFRC skin with the frame attachment. You know, weight of the material is 8 to 20 pounds a square foot. Uh, that depends on the configuration of the GFRC, if it requires a frame attachment or not. In this case, the job did have a frame attachment. It had two, you, know, you basically need two uh, different uh, connection points on the GFRC. You need a bearing point and you need a tie back. So here we've got a, a angle iron bearing connection that is lagged into the wall. Uh, you've got a little, a little pin that's pre-welded to the angle bearing and the, the GFRC frame has got a plate with a slot welded through it and that kind of rests down on top of that bearing angle and pins and then at the top you've got just a, a bent plate that is again lagged into the structure and then that allows you to kind of push and pull the panel in and out for alignment and then you just screw it right down onto the top of the frame. Uh, so that would be kind of a, a typical uh, a GFRC panel with a, a frame attachment. This photograph shows you, uh, you have to, this, this top photograph you need to kind of turn it counterclockwise about 90 degrees. That, and you can see that, that, that bent plate attachment screwed into the wall and screwed into the, the panel frame. Uh, and here you, you can see the same thing. This picture is probably a little bit clearer. You, you can see again, this is just looking down on top of the, the panel, on top of the GFRC cornice. Here's the frame. You can't really see the bearing angle, but you can definitely see the attachments. Now they haven't completed this. Uh, attachment just yet, but you can see where it's it's screwed into the frame. After they get it aligned and level, they would screw that right into the this this uh, header attachment. Here's a here's a photograph of the GFRC cornice again. Very clearly, you can see the frame. Um, if we zoom in just a little bit, uh, you can see this This would be that, that bent plate attachment that's uh, screwed into the top and, and back into the wall. This is a very similar, again, similar profile of this GFRC cornice. In this situation, there is no frame. This is another method of attachment. You've got a kind of a, a haunch here that's got a, a, a kerf in it. You've got your angle iron and another bent plate attachment. So this bent plate is, is, is clipping into that kerf. And at the top here, you've just got kind of a furring attachment. And it's literally just screwed right through the GFRC into that, that wood, wood furring. And then the, 
the flashing from the roofing material is just covering up that connection. Here we see a much smaller cornice. This one you know, really doesn't need even a bearing attachment. Uh, this one is light enough, uh, no frame attachment. So this is going to run you know, roughly about 10 pounds a square foot. Here we just have kerfs and bent clips. So this is just attached with a, a, a masonry kerf and clip attachment. This view or this, this sheet is a column attachment. Uh, this is the same columns we saw, saw on that uh, the first elevation we were looking at. Um, so, so here you've got some just a drilled in pin that was drilled into the bottom of the of the GFRC column base, and then that's just pinned down into the into the structure or into the foundation. This could be done with inserts, could be cast into the bottom of this, and threaded dowels uh, could, could be uh, pinned into it. So you're just, you're just pinning it down with the insert and the threaded dowel. Here we've got the, the clip attachment. So this is kind of a, a T clip. So it's bent in both directions. You've got it fastening the column base down. And then you've got the other attachment accepting the first half of the GFRC column shaft. Now these are just surrounds. There is no framing in these pieces. They're just wrapping around the structural support. This photograph shows pretty clearly what we were just looking at. Uh, a kerf was just cut in with a, a masonry, a diamond wheel. And so the bottom part of that clip is, is catching onto the column base. And then the, this upper tail coming up out of the clip, that's ready to expect or uh, accept the, the, the column shaft. Here's a detail showing the Corinthian capital. Again, same type of a detail here. So now you're seeing the top of the column shaft where this clip is connecting to and fastening and catching the top of the column shaft, and it's catching the bottom of the GFRC cornice. At the top, you've got a different, you know, same, same, same type of a bent clip catching into the kerf. Uh, here, the detailer has made a note, install the column before the cornice, and then that way this, this entablature cornice here is hiding this, this connection after it's already made. Here's a photograph. Here you can see pretty clearly, you can see the column capitals coming together. You can see the, the, all the structural support here, uh, which is, in this case, tube steel. Uh, it, it could be a wood support, uh, but uh, here you see it. You can see the, the entablature here beyond, and you can also see this bearing connection here uh, a little bit right, right here, right in front of this column. Uh, it's just being held on there by a clamp, it looks like at this point, but th that'll get welded on to this tube steel structure. But there's that angle iron bearing with a little pin coming up that the frame of the GFRC cornice will just rest down on top of, and then it will tie back at the top with that, that uh, clip again. So now you can pretty much see the finished installation. Uh, this has got a return to it, and then here's a small stretcher fitting in and reaching back to the to the to the brick. The only thing that looks like is left to be done here is just to seal the joints. And here is your typical joint connection. So not really connection, but but a. Uh, you know what you would what we do here. We we typically spray the GFRC up to about three quarters of an inch thick, and here we built up the edge. So anywhere the GFRC comes together and they match up together, or where they might meet up to the building and it needs to be sealed, we thicken those edges to approximately an inch and a half thick. That leaves room for backer rod and caulking or grout, uh, whatever you're going to seal the structure with. Here we can see a photograph of that built up added the thickness at the edges. Again, that gives you plenty of room to tuck in some backer rod and seal that joint. 
here's a couple details of some veneer connections. You know, these might just be two by two, three by three pieces of veneer. Uh, those are done with just kerf and clip connections often. We could also cast in brick ties or veneer ties to, to the, you know, into the piece cast in where you can fold the first veneer tie up, screw it in. The next one, you probably have to screw through the joint. Uh, to get the bottom of the, the piece that would you know be above the first piece you install. So that is a, 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 a never way to install veneer. You can also just, you know, drill and pin into the thickened edge. That would also be a way. Uh, if the pieces are small enough, oftentimes they can just be just be attached up with a, some thin set or some construction adhesive. Here is a bigger panel. This would be more of a GFRC wall panel. And this thing could be five, four, five, six feet wide, 10, 12 feet tall. And here again, you've got a, a frame, a, a shop attached prefabricated frame that is cast into the panel while it's being manufactured. It goes out to you in one piece. So same idea here. We've got an angle iron, which is the bearing uh, attachment here. It, it, it pins down. And then you've got a tie back at the top. Uh, oftentimes on panels like this, they might be going on to some, you know, maybe it's a concrete poured structure. Maybe you've got a concrete floor. And maybe the floor panel is up towards the top. You know, the bearing bracket or you know, bearing angle attachment could also be towards the, the top of this panel. And the tie back or kind of a push-pull attachment could be towards the bottom. Um, you know, that, that's perfectly fine. It doesn't need to be at the bottom. It could be towards the top as well. If we go to this uh, detail 10, here we're seeing some, some window seal uh, type attachments here. Uh, in this case, we've got uh, just a, 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 a little plate screwed into the wall with the pin coming out of it. Uh, we've got a thickened edge on the ends of the GFRC, and those are just being filled, drilled, and he just, just epoxied onto the pin. That could be done with a kerf attachment as well. Uh, instead of a pin, it could be just a kerf and a clip. And here we've got a similar attachment where it's being done on the side uh, instead of onto the and onto the back edge. It's actually pinning through the side edge of the GFRC, and that whole attachment is being uh, covered by you know, probably some brick material here. Here would be like a header detail. Uh, again, the GFRC is a shell. There's nothing structural about it. So here they've got brick above the header. So the brick is actually being supported by uh, a, an angle iron uh, ledger. And then the GFRC header is uh, attached underneath. And this is a very similar attachment to just what we saw on the window seal. Uh, in this case, it's going back behind it, or I'm sorry, on the, on the edge side of it. It could be behind it. It could be done with a cliff uh, and a kerf, uh, as we saw on some of the other details. And these are just some two-piece column covers. Uh, we make a lot of these uh, that range from, you know, five feet tall up to ten feet tall, even even larger sometimes. And on these, we just cast in a couple of three-eighths inserts into the GFRC. It's cast in, and we just use a bent uh, strap that will catch the 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 strap. You bolt it on, and then the strap will catch the the structural. Uh, support, which might be a wooden post, it could be a metal post, it could be a round post, and uh, you get that all plumbed up level, and then the, the second half, you just drill into that thickened edge and pin it, epoxy pin it together. Um, we can cast inserts into these edges here if we need to. Uh, sometimes on bigger columns, we'll actually uh, cast an insert in here, and then uh, we'll create the you know, prefabricate and have the pocket in the edge all already so they match up. But typically on smaller columns like this, so uh, we just have it field drilled and, uh, and attached in the field. Uh, that concludes our presentation on GFRC attachments. If you have any questions, please feel to contact us. Thank you.